At this point, we have 70% or more, if you can, of your weight on the front leg. The front leg is this leg at this point. Then we turn 90 degrees, but do not move your arms. So just the center turns. From here, the left hand turns down and the right hand turns up. And you're on the toe of the right foot. Your right foot is now going to be the front leg. So I'll do this from the other side. Place the foot, move the weight forward, ward off. Relax into the front foot and turn. The left hand is in the ward off position. Palms change. The most common mistake will be this. Because the brain is busy trying to figure out what's going on. So we want stillness in the movement. I'll do it again from this side. As the whole body turns, just the hands change value at the end of the posture. Tai Chi may look very busy, but in reality, there's not that much movement. <clears throat> we want efficient movement, and that is called stillness. So I'll demonstrate again. From here, we're going to pick up the right foot and put the heel with the toes, but no weight. This foot mustn't come in. When we turn, the foot stays here. And I'm going to lift it up and put the heel with the toes. No weight. And then here. Michelle will now do that piece of the form and I'll correct anything that's necessary. So, common faults. This hand should be more on the center line and this hand here about three or four inches below the navel and three or four inches out and then ward off. And don't look down. So we want to suspend from the head top but the eyes must gaze at an angle a few meters in front of your body.
Here. So here's up. Okay. And keep yes. Keep the center. Maintain the center. Okay. Step but keep facing me. Keep facing me. Then place your foot. Now turn the arm and the center together. Yes, good. Bottom hand. And then this hand should be more here. So what we want with the ward off, it must be more circular, not too much of an angle. And in front of the bottom hand, the two hands are not aligned. There's a gap here. Okay, good. So you can see she's brought her foot in, which means that the space between the hips will be too small for the next movement. That's because you didn't release the hip joint. So when you relax the hip joint, the foot will stay where, where you've placed it. So that's okay, and she pulled it in slightly, but then put it out again, and then the toe is still up. The toe must be up. But <clears throat> this is a, that's a common mistake. People's legs are not strong enough, so they'll do this and then they'll start moving the weight onto the front leg. So you must at this point still keep the weight on the back leg. Put the heel with the toes. Okay, good. More. Okay, 